This is Station Com Control routing a message from Darth Maul. Put it through. No niceties today, Wrath. My time is short. Too many betrayers have attempted to seize power of late. Darth Malgus's men are finished, but the Dreadmasters endure. Since their release from Belsavis, their madness has driven them to conquest. We slew one on the planet Darvanus, yet five remain. I take it something has changed. They were the Emperor's favored servants, yet idolized fear above the Empire. Now, we have found their fortress on Oricon, a remote moon. When the Emperor went silent, the Dreadmasters should have bowed to me. Now, they will have no choice. There is no loyalty in their hearts. The Republic moved before we did, sending a full fleet to Oricon. Its armada was undone by the Master's powers of fear and madness. Our task force followed, a rapid strike deployment led by one Lord Hargrave upon the insistence of Darth Rictus. Hargrave is a blackguard and a sadist, but he has studied our foe. He believed that he and his acolytes could shield our task force from the Master's power. I've never heard of Hargrave. Where's he come from? What's he really capable of? He studied under Lord Silthar. Had he spent less time in his agony dungeon, he might have become a Darth long ago. I have heard nothing since Hargrave's ships arrived in System 12 hours ago. Either his forces were defeated, or Hargrave has betrayed us. Either way, the Dreadmasters will sense weakness and counterattack. I have no forces to spare. You represent our last chance to stop them. I will make sure the Dreadmasters' treason ends now. Even you cannot slay the Master single-handedly. If you can reach Oricon, however, you may find some remnant of Hargrave's task force. If all else fails, send any warning you can of the Dreadmasters' straits. Perhaps then we can limit our losses to mere sectors. Very well. Forward whatever data you have and await my word. Heavy defenses all around the moon. We can descend to ground level, but the ship will be vulnerable. Put me down with a landing beacon, then take the ship out of orbit. I'll activate the beacon when it's time to depart. You have come far too late. By Oricon's next sunrise, your worlds will burn. Three more gone, my lord. Two commandos took knives to one another, hallucination-induced psychosis, apparently. And Major Strix fled camp. Uh, stupid, stupid knives! They can't even resist carving one another like roasts! I'm sorry. I know the things they saw. I can feel the Dreadmasters, I can push them, but I can't stop it all. I'm so sorry, Maya. Are you Lord Hargrave? Darth Maar asked me to find you. What? We're the remains of the task force, yes. You'll have to forgive us. Lord Hargrave is shielding our minds from the Masters, but it takes a toll. Are there any ships still functioning? What's your current objective? For now, surviving. Between their mental dominance and their orbital weaponry, the Dreadmasters managed to annihilate our ships. The survivors regrouped here. Our hope was to make one final push to the Master's fortress. But the Dreadguard has us trapped. We don't need firepower, we need manpower to break out. Are there other survivors who can reinforce you? Give you the manpower you need? The Republic? They came to Oricon too. I can feel their soldiers out there. Trapped. And afraid. Darth Maar call you a sadist. But you sound like you're sympathizing with Republic troops. My taste are not an issue here. Those soldiers are. They're desperate. They have no hope of rescue. We share a common enemy. You can mold them like clay. It's murder out there. The Dreadguard have machine support. Enough to cut our reconnaissance into pieces. How long before we're overrun? Hours. At best. Point taken. I will shield you against the madness as well as I can. Bring us the soldiers we need to survive. You have come far since last we met. You have 
potential. We will taste your fear, or we will taste your rage. The things we will show you. The humiliations you will endure. These soldiers are doomed. Our nightmares suffuse them. We have our new recruits. Suggest you return to camp. Once I thought myself a monster. I played in rivers of blood and laughed as innocence quaked. Yet, when I touched the Dreadmasters, I saw that my darkness was but a shadow of true depravity. You want us to trust you because, what, you've been redeemed? Perhaps you'd rather return to the field to have your skull split. Better than working for Sith dogs. Don't fear the Dreadmasters. Fear me. I hold your life in my hand. You will march because I demand it. You will fire on our enemies because the alternative is unthinkable. Am I understood? Yes, I understand. I admire your charm. What you were saying to them? It was true enough. In the Dreadmasters, I saw a cancer. Now, I recognize my own disease. Forgive the interruption, but we should discuss our plans for the Master's Fortress. Not yet. A sense... Fear and death nearby. Two sources of power outside the fortress. Walls coming for us. I, I see no more. Stay and shield us from the Dreadmaster's power. If you lay out a strategy for the fortress, I'll intercept whatever's out there now. We are grateful, and we will be ready. Breathe of the spores. Feel your mind crackle in perfect magnetic radiance. Our devices transform worlds, so the very growl produces fear. Primitive biological instinct. You only imagine what must be. Whatever you've done, it's made the soldiers less susceptible to hallucinations. Where do they come from? Can you find it? Do you believe my creations are vulnerable? Then go. Tear them apart. have been dealt with, and the Dreadmaster's technology neutralized. Thank you for that. You know, all my life I aspired to heights of cruelty and passion. But the Dreadmasters, they went too far. We went too far. Passion without humanity is meaningless. Shall I have Maya salvage what you didn't destroy? I'm sure someone clever could make use of it. Send a squad to gather what's left. Let's not let the Dreadmaster's skills go to waste. We will see it done. The troops are almost ready. We can secure a route to the fortress and protect your flank if you act as vanguard. But we still need a way through the fortress gates. According to our recon data, they're built with highly dense materials, conventionally unbreakable. Can we circumvent them? How are they controlled? 
There's an outer watchtower with command of the gates. Its computers are built with ancient Sith and Rakata technologies. We scanned it from orbit. I know the Dreadmaster's designs. If you can seize the machine core, I can extract the codes needed to attack the fortress. We'll have our troops start moving on the fortress itself. Bring us the machine core and they'll strike at your command. Long ago, we learned of your abilities in the Belsarvis prison. Since then you have grown. In mind and body. In skill and in spirit. Meanwhile, we have tasted death. On Darmani, you ripped Lord Stylak from our union. From our womb bleeds our memories, our names, our ambitions. We tasted a blame and it drowns us. Like you, we are changing. Poor masters, do you miss your brother? Come face me and I'll reunite you. You do not comprehend. Once we desired an empire. Now with the death of Lord Styrak, we are going mad. The wound must be healed. Our union requires a sixth, or there will be only chaos. You were the Emperor's wrath. You drove a Jedi to the brink of madness and strike terror into the hearts of millions. Soon, you will join us as our scion of terror. We will feast on your dreams and our union shall be strong again. This is my offer to you. Open your fortress and accept that you've lost. Your lives will be spared. Pointless words. You must first be degraded. You must be humbled and humiliated. Stripped of all but fear. Even now, our ships prepare to launch and deliver our devices to other worlds. Dromund Kars, Nar Shaddaa, and Coruscant. Populations will be infected, and planets overgrown. Mothers will kill daughters as soldiers weep in terror. All you love and prize will fall. You will try to stop our ships and fail. Then you will be ready to join us. One of your acolytes has gone mad. Your protection may be wanting. I am concentrating. I am trying to focus. What? We don't have much time. I recovered the computer core, but the Dreadmasters are launching an attack on the Empire. Oh, blasted all! That explains the signals we're picking up. Hyperdrive's coming online not far from the fortress. Get the gate codes off the computer. We're going into the fortress next. Yes, of course. But please, do not... Let the Dreadmaster ships reach our worlds. What they would do is unthinkable. Hurry as you wish, but you will watch your planet burn. I'm attempting to warn the Imperial fleet, but they may not intercept in time. You're the only chance to stop those ships. Your draft. It is done. The gates to the fortress are open. Squads of Republic and Imperial troops are holding a path. And now that you've neutralized the Dreadmaster's attack, I expect you'll go for the throat. Stop them. Show the Empire that their depravity leads to weakness, not strength. Make sure no Sith is ever tempted to follow their path. When I'm finished, no one will remember the Dreadmasters. My acolytes and I will confront the enemy through the Force, as you break their flesh. Perhaps we may even be useful. Not enough. You dared to stop our launch. For every Dreadguard killed, we will destroy one of your soldiers. Unless you wish to bargain. Tell us a secret. Tell us what you fear, and we will spare your servant. Stop it. You want to know something I'm afraid of? I'll tell you. Speak. Name your fear. 
Darth Barriss sought to use me as his weapon. I overcame him, but there are others, and I wonder if I can defy them all. Let that thought suffuse you. Enough humiliation. You will join us soon. Get to the fortress. Kill them. For all of us. I felt violence. Death. But you're alive. And Lord Brontes has fallen back. But she and the others are still out there. There's an inner palace. No ships left the planet. I'd guess the masters are there. You thirst for our blood. You may defeat one, but all. You will join us. We will break you and ruin your force. You will be part of our union, but in the depths of your despair and degradation, you will not save it. We will all go mad together. Come. Scout reports us the palace doors are open. I think it's time. It's gone. I can feel it. I can feel it! The Dreadmasters are dead. All of them. The Dreadguard are falling back. We should target any surviving clusters. Learn to celebrate, Maya. You were inside. What was it like? Were you tempted at all? To live as a union of fear, without mortal inhibitions. They wanted to crush my spirit, to unmake me. But I would have been powerful, unchained by responsibility. Find a planet somewhere and forget this war. You might come close enough. We're also getting strategic updates from Darth Maher. Border sectors where he needs reinforcements. And so the bloodshed must continue. Well, at least the cancer and the Sith is gone. The Empire is a healthy body once again. Think of these civil wars as a deck-clearing exercise. Those of us who survive are better off. I agree. But that doesn't mean disease is to be cultured. Your final instructions for Oricon. Destroy what the Dreadmasters created. Don't let the cancer come back. And as for you, Lord Hargrave, don't forget the lessons you've learned. The Empire needs Sith with perspective. My perspective is what haunts me. But I take your meaning. My lord. May the Force serve you well, Lord Rath. We live and die in your master's name. Now come, Maya. We have much work to do, and our friend has much more. <laughs> 